Hello and thank you for watching. Today I'm going to do a brief video overview of a new mod called The Little Bird by Shen Ji. It's a 26650 mod, brass with a stainless steel overlay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and crack open that box and we'll take a look at it from top to bottom. Okay, well here it is. All nice and tidy in its little box. It says little bird on it. Let's see if we can't get that to focus. It says Shenji on the side. And let's get this puppy open. in cellophane. Let's get her out of there. Slide the box to the side. I don't know if you can see that. It says strive to fly. Let's get that in there nice and close. And it's got a bird. This is 304 stainless steel on top of copper. It's got a nice little relief ring right here. What I found very interesting about this was the bird shaped airflow vents on top. Here is the switch. It says Shenji. very easy push switch and it has a locking ring and it will not fire I don't understand the purpose of the locking ring personally that it's recessed so far I don't think it'll fire anyway it is serialized there's the serial number on that one let's take it apart take off the top cap threads don't feel too bad we've got an adjustment for battery rattle and then we've also got this black ring here which is your adjustment for your 510 that it will make a connection with any atomizer you put on. Slide that over. There is a magnetic disc which I found serves no purpose other than a spacer. I guess they made this uh, a little too long. Um, this side would go on your battery and then you simply slide it down in. We'll take apart the switch. Big beefy o-ring. Copper connections all the way around. And we'll take that apart as well. I like to take everything apart so I can see everything that's going on. And that'll just screw off like that. And inside here is a big beefy copper spring and a pretty sizable switch. The locking ring is reverse threaded, it does come off completely so that you can get all the way in there and clean it. There are vent holes. The 
venting will come at the bottom of the switch from these slits right here. Let's put that back together. So, as I said, place this part on your battery. Let's go ahead and reassemble this tube. Okay, slide that right down into there. It does it, it doesn't cause any resistance. So, as I said, I'm assuming that that's a spacer and nothing more. Thread sound a little crunchy, not too bad. I've heard worse. Let's go ahead and adjust for battery rattle. And there you go. Well, let's tighten up that ring. No noise. Once again, there's that very unique airflow control. We'll go ahead and stand that so you can see it from the side. Pretty deep channels all the way around. So if you do have something on here that gets its airflow from the 510, uh, it appears you'll get plenty of airflow. Once again, is that strive to fly uh, nice copper accent all in all I, th I think it's a pretty pretty good looking mod um, I did a voltage drop test on it and uh, it has a 0.27 voltage drop which I don't think is bad at all pretty good if you ask me well that's it thank you for watching this video